Okay, for those of you who've joined uh, so far, uh, just hang on. We've got a couple minutes. I, I like to wait to about a, a minute or two after the hour to get started, uh, which means we usually go maybe a minute or two after, but uh, letting people come in from their busy day. So just hang on and we'll get started very shortly. Okay, it's just getting ready to turn the top of the hour. We are going to wait a few more minutes for people to come in, uh, another minute or a minute and a half so, and we'll get started uh, with the presentation today on Log Me In. I'm Clint Gatewood, Channel Chief here at SASMAX, and I'll be back with you in just a few moments to get started. All right, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm Clint Gatewood here at SASMAX. I'm the channel chief, and welcome to today's presentation on uh, some more of the Log Me In products that are available to you through our relationship. Um, we'll, we'll be proceeding forward here pretty quickly. Everyone will be on mute uh, with the amount of people that come on to the webinars. So we'll be on, everyone will be on mute, but please uh, ask your questions. We're going to do the best that we can to have a question and answer session towards the end. Uh, if you all have a lot of questions. So use the ask a question box uh, at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started here. And uh, I get the great opportunity to introduce uh, a couple people that I've done a lot of work with, especially with Janae. Uh, Janae is the channel ops manager at North America, works with a lot of our partners as, as well as her team does. And we have uh, Kyle Turner, a customer engagement and sports specialist that partners work with when they're having issues about uh, their products and such. But I'm going to turn it over to Janae here uh, in just one brief second. And uh, there you go, Janae. You are now the moderator and in control of uh, in control of the whole piece. So. Thank you, Clint. I'm going to, Kyle and I are going to jump on webcam here um, just for a moment to introduce ourselves. And then uh, we'll jump off to um, give you full screen of the presentation. So uh, let me go to the next slide. So my name is Janae. As Clint mentioned, I run channel operations for Log Me and Partner Team. Um, been with the company for about five years, and I did start in sales. So I do know the sales cycle um, and really enjoy helping our partners to identify new opportunities, work with our team to get their client taken care of, and then um, help you guys make commissions for doing so, so for rec recommending our products. So really excited to work with you guys, and then I'll turn it over to Kyle. And hello, my name is Kyle Turner. I'm a senior solutions consultant here at Log Me In, and I specialize in our remote support technologies. I too started in sales of, of software like this, actually at a competitor to Log Me In many, many years ago and have uh, worked both in sales and in solution consulting over 11 years of uh, remote support products. Uh, so I'm happy to help and share some of my experiences that I've had over time as well. 
Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. We're going to jump off webcam so that you have full screen of the presentation. Uh, as Clint mentioned, if you do have questions, feel free to put those in the question box as we go along, and then we'll try and answer as many as we can at the end. So just a quick agenda. Um, I'll go over you know, what LogMeIn is. We don't have a whole lot of brand awareness around LogMeIn as, as the company name, but all of our products have a lot of brand awareness. Go to meeting you're probably familiar with Rescue and Rescue Assist, which we're going to talk about in the last pass. So we have over 16 products, which we feel creates and offers a compelling story to not only you as the partner recommending and talking about our products, but also to your customer because they can come to one vendor for all of their organizational needs and we can fit those solutions to meet those needs. So we're going to go over today um, customer engagement and support. We call that our CES business unit. Um, what the problem is and how our solution solves that. We're going to talk about why clients buy our customer engagement products and how we kind of stack up against others in terms of the value that we bring. Kyle will do a highlight of the CES suite including Rescue and Rescue Assist and give you a little bit of under the hood, we call it, um, just to give you an idea of what it looks like and how it works. And then we'll go over the sales model, um, how we discuss opportunities and how we look at that, and then how you get paid for recommending our products, which is probably the most important to you, and then how to get started with SASMAX and LogMeIn as a partner. So with that, um, I'll go ahead and hand it over to Kyle, and he's going to start with um, the problem of friction. And let me just make you presenter. Okay, so everybody should be seeing my screen now, and uh, we're looking at the same slide. Uh, so the the challenges that our remote support technologies uh, address have to do with uh, both cost savings for support organizations and maintaining uptime with uh, within the organizations that they serve or at customer sites if they've deployed software or services or products at customer sites. Um, and, and the the essential things that that will help to do is reduce travel costs, um, just like our GoToMeeting tool, you know, instead of having an on-site meeting um, or an on-site technical support type session, being able to perform a, a deep dive remote control session to bring a user back into a state where uh, they're happy and they're using the products or services or even just their own desktop machine in, in a way that's, uh, you know, getting them back up and running. Um, the challenge that really this type of product addresses is also, um, you know, making sure that computers that aren't on the same network as the support professional get support in an easy to join remote support session uh, with those types of folks uh, without having to wait a long time for the support professional to actually render that support. One of the other challenges that this product supports is, is what the support professional actually sees on their desktop. Help desk technicians and customer service representatives around the world have on average uh, eight different tools that they have to jump in and out of to render the support that's necessary within their daily grind. And our real goal is to provide a single tool that they can use for the majority of the support sessions that they do when they have to provide remote control. Rescue is also ideal for uh, global support teams. Um, we distribute this tool as a software as a service platform. Um, that's accessible uh, through a global socket server network um, and can provide low latency, high effective remote control sessions um, through that socket server network that maintains, uh, we maintain multiple MPLSs to do, uh, you know, long range remote control sessions and then use a GOIP algorithm essentially to make sure that that remote control session is uh, connecting through the fastest possible method. If you've ever looked at a cell phone tower map, you can almost envision this, that being the same way that we maintain our infrastructure here. 
the, one of the biggest tools that support organizations talk about with me when I work with them is that, you know, we don't really have a good view into what our support professionals are doing on a daily basis. Uh, we don't have an idea of what our handle time is. And, and as a result, we don't really know what the cost of doing business is for our support organization. So offering reporting to really give um, top level business leaders the business intelligence that they need in order to uh, you know report on what their teams are doing and what that's costing them is really one of the main things that we provide for that higher level user um, of this platform. As I mentioned, return on investment and handle time being some of those two primary metrics. Also, um, first time call resolution or FCR is going to be one of those main metrics that we really aim for here. Um, you know, being able to see somebody's screen to render support as opposed to giving verbal instruction only over a phone call is a much more um, a collaborative way to enable a support session between somebody who's got the problem and the person who knows the answer. Um, and being able to allow that person who knows the answers to see through our tool the person who's having the problem screen is a great way to make sure that that problem is addressed, that person who's having the problem is trained so that they don't run into the same problem again in the future. Um, and that's really one of the big values that we provide here. And because of that customer satisfaction element, maintaining uh, customer retention is a really big uh, advantage and outcome of using a tool like this. A customer on average is going to feel much more taken care of by a, a remote control session if, if they weren't able to get support any other way, uh, or maybe they just jumped right into remote control and they were uh, satisfied with the experience that they had, that's really going to render a much higher satisfaction rate from a customer than, than having to limp along through a phone call with dictated instructions uh, and, you know, what are you seeing on your screen now type questions. It's just a much better way to go. Tools that do this type of thing um, are much more reliable as a result. Allowing support professionals to see that screen is a much more reliable way to support than uh, the verbal instruction. And then, of course, uh, making sure that all of this type of interaction is a secure method is really what we aim for here at LogMeIn. In our CES category for remote support, there are uh, two primary products. Uh, and the middle one here, Rescue Lens, is actually married to the Rescue product. So let's talk about these a little bit. The Rescue product, um, first and foremost, is a on-demand remote support technology that allows uh, people with questions or problems that they're experiencing to easily call a contact center or a help desk and get support on their device from a support professional who may not have anything pre-installed on the customer device prior to that remote support session. So think about um, when you call in to your own help desk or even the help desk of um, maybe a product or a software that you use, maybe even your phone provider, right? Um, if there's something that is on your screen and, and they need to see it, um, they're not going to have anything pre-installed on your computer, your personal machine. So they need to be able to provide that method of seeing your screen to render that uh, white glove high level of support. And if it's a, a robust technical support problem, being able to control your computer at a very deep level um, is going to be uh, integral to actually solving the problems that you're having on your machine. And maybe your machine's a PC or a Windows machine, maybe it's a Mac, uh, or maybe it's a, an iOS device or an Android device. Um, the Rescue product really brings in all of those platforms and operating systems and the ability to collaborate with those different uh, platforms all into the same uh, technician experience. Being able to remotely control the device and see Windows user access control prompts, click through those in a remote environment, 
um, is, is a huge advantage, especially for folks who are supporting robust IT support type issues. Um, it's something that makes a tool like what we do here with the Log Me and Rescue product and the Rescue Assist product a much more um, robust capability than, than doing that same type of remote support, maybe through a meeting tool, right? Um, or, or other remote control technologies. And being able to do it, whether the device is either on the same network as me, or maybe somewhere else in the world, and we're just connecting over the internet. Um, those are things that really make these tools unique in the marketplace. Bringing customers into session and making sure that it's easy for them is a core tenet of what we do here at LogMeIn. Providing a verbally dictated PIN code, uh, sending them a hyperlink, or even chatting them and sending them an easy to join workflow is something that we really try to do with, with all of the products that we provide support on. The Rescue product is particularly suited for large teams. Uh, think large orgs like Microsoft or Hewlett Packard, who are users of Rescue today. They have a number of support teams globally that are supporting in different languages, they're supporting different product lines, and as such, they need segmentation between those teams for reporting purposes, for um, making sure that managers have access to the teams that they support, but no other team. And that's really the, the value of the rescue product over uh, what we're going to talk about here in a moment when we talk about rescue assist, which is really suited more for your smaller teams. Security is a core tenet of what we do here at LogMeIn. And being able to uh, connect the LogMeIn tool to Active Directory for provisioning of subscriptions, also um, offering a single sign-on capability will really make the, the managerial part of using our technology easy to do for administrators. Also, from a single sign-on perspective, not having its own unique credential that a support pro has to try to remember on top of their normal Windows login is, is a really great capability too. And then meeting compliance through things like multi-factor authentication um, and using a mobile app to make sure that that person is who they say they are. The Rescue Lens capability is married to the LogMe and Rescue product. And that capability is a camera support option where a customer's mobile device turns into a streaming camera for a support professional that's then broadcast back through the internet connection so that that support professional can see problems in the physical world that may not be happening on a screen. Maybe it's a hardware issue. Maybe it's a problem with a combine out in a field. Uh, maybe it's a vending machine, right? Uh, the, the opportunity there is endless. Uh, we'll talk about some qualification questions that are normally used here, um, here in a moment. Uh, being able to support cross-platform, because a lot of people will say, well, you know what, I do that with FaceTime today. Well, okay, great, but what if the customer has an Android device? FaceTime doesn't work there. So being able to support uh, those types of camera streaming sessions uh, across a, a, a wide array of mobile device operating systems is very important. The Rescue Assist product is going to be like the little brother to the Rescue product, suitable mainly for smaller teams. Um, it, it is more flat in its organizational structure. So uh, multiple countries and multiple languages and the things that I mentioned with the Rescue product for scalability aren't gonna be as readily available for the Rescue Assist product and therefore is a lower price point for smaller teams. Um, and that will allow um, everybody to have a tool that really fits their um, support environment without um, you know, pricing it over what that team can can be able to afford in its budget. So the average deal sizes of our products are as listed here. Um, they're usually uh, three to four weeks of uh, sales cycle, and normally that goes hand in hand with an active trial, maybe a product demonstration from somebody like me uh, that can explain and talk to some of the technical and security type components to our product to really make sure that there's no ambiguity in the buying process. 
Um, as you can imagine, with a remote support type of option, you know, there's going to be a lot of concerns around the protocols that we use, the security elements that are on site at the customer, and Rescue is industry leading in these categories and as such um, is one of usually the top listed solutions that people are going to know by name. Um, and uh, trust me when I say that because I had to compete against, against Rescue for many years before joining the team um, and it's definitely much easier um, to, to do that. There's a question from Donald Howard about does Lens work with Assist? Uh, Donald, we do have a, a camera sharing option with Rescued Assist today as well. So if, uh, if there are folks who are looking to do the camera support option with the lower tier product that is available. Great question. Some of our verticals include folks um, in the technical sector with managed service providers or outside consultants being one of the, uh, the main verticals that are serviced, but that's really not all. It, I mean, if you think about any organization having an internal IT department, that is really going to be one of the, the main uh, buyers of a tool like this, but also uh, customer support. Um, type organizations as well. So really almost any vertical that um, has an internal IT department or a customer facing um, technical support department is going to be um, you know some of the main folks. So you'll see financial services listed, education, healthcare, government, and many more. Um, so as far as the buyer personas go, you'll usually talk to folks like um, help desk directors or customer care directors, field support directors. So if, if I'm in an org that has uh, folks out in the field, I've talked to people like um, you know electric companies that are sending folks out into the field to support the, the lines and they want to do uh, camera sharing sessions using the Rescue Lens product, you know, those types of persona um, are, are some of the people that we normally deal with in the sales cycle. And then, of course, any kind of decision makers in an IT organization or director of operations, VP of ops, things like that. And as such, the target size of the companies that we work with can really range from a, a small one-man company um, to a very large organization like the ones I've kind of already listed. I've taken the liberty of listing some of our competitors here, and I've separated them into apples and oranges. So like for like, um, probably our main competitors are folks like Bomgar, which is an on-premise version of a similar type of technology. Uh, Team Viewer, which is another SaaS provider of this type of technology, but arguably probably um, aiming at a, at a smaller segment, probably more uh, competing against our Rescue Assist brand rather than our Rescue brand in most cases. Um, and then uh, folks like uh, what used to be Screen Viewer, now called ConnectWise Remote Control. Uh, these are some of the people that we normally run into if we're in a competitive uh, type of sales cycle. From an oranges, I wanted to make sure that uh, that was something that we called out because, you know, there are a number of tools in the remote control arena. Um, this is a fairly mature category of products. And as such, you know, remote control types of capabilities are built into, um, you know, even your uh, Microsoft System Center and other types of uh, remote control or endpoint management technologies. Um, RDP has is, is been around for a long time now, and I still run into it almost on a daily basis for remote support. Uh, but, you know, what we notice is a lot of these technologies in the oranges category don't provide support if the endpoint isn't on the same network as the support professional. And if they try, uh, it just isn't that great because there's not a robust uh, network to manage all of the traffic, and therefore it's uh, high latency or slow connections are just not very um, reliable. I think I mentioned a number of these um, buying points before, uh, but really uh, the vendor consolidation talk track is a fairly common one. I, you know, I have all of these tools and gosh darn it, I really don't wanna have to pay all these people all the time. I'd rather have uh, one throat to choke. 
And, uh, you know, log me in, as was mentioned at the top of the call, has a number of different products uh, and therefore can provide kind of a consolidation from a vendor um, play. Uh, obviously, with the efficiency and the reduced costs and the decreased travel, we've kind of already mentioned uh, increasing first call resolution, we've mentioned easier management, we've mentioned, and then, of course, uh, the productivity and collaborative options is, is really kind of the core tenants that we've already mentioned as well. So I've used uh, some of my experience to create some discovery questions for you in this slide. I'm not going to read through each of these, uh, but know this slide exists. Uh, and also, I believe there's a number of handouts where we've included some of the uh, discovery questions to really sort out while you're while you're working with your clients what to ask to see if these products are even something that they would consider. Um, so use these if there's any questions or if these aren't getting the desired results. Uh, please reference the materials that we've got, and then you know please feel free. Um, to reach out to us to, um, you know, refine this type of thing as, as you go forward in, in working with these solutions. And also as a tool, we've created kind of a side-by-side, um, -side, and actually um, I'll provide Janae another a document that was just released um, at the end of last week that kind of goes through a side-by-side -side of the differences but between Rescue and Rescue Assist. Um, and then also if they've got um, our go to assist line of products, which is a, a little bit older option, um, you know, how that stacks up against uh, these products as well to really arm you with, um, you know, with that type of information to do comparisons. And as we're switching slides, right there, I just remind everyone, sorry, uh, Kyle, just real quick, this is Clint. So as we're switching uh, slides right here, just make sure you're putting your questions in. We'll, we'll be doing as much as uh, Q&A as we can at the end, or as Kyle answered Howard's question uh, throughout the presentation. So please get your questions in as we move forward. Uh, great. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. So really quick, I just want to show kind of an example of what the rescue product looks like. Um, we'll, we'll just talk about rescue today and, and, and as you engage us, uh, you know, I'd be happy to show uh, presentations of all of the other types, but the rescue technology, as we mentioned, is multi uh, operating system capable. So I've brought into remote control a Windows device here, an Android device here, and an iOS device here. And you see that these are all loaded up in the same technician experience. Um, I was able to join them very simply uh, with not a lot of time between my last uh, product demonstration and this webinar. Um, so it, it goes really quickly. The ability for me to work on these devices and support them as though I were either handling the device itself or um, you know, giving verbal instruction or even doing things like annotating on the screen uh, while giving the customer um, verbal instruction really teaching them how to solve their own problem. That way they don't call me back in the future is, is a really big uh, opportunity here. And as you can imagine, with uh, the environments that are using tools like this, the ability to train new people is a really big thing because they're fairly high turnover. So offering collaborative tools that allows support professionals to um, jump into each other's sessions or managers to do the same or even monitor the sessions um, and help out their, their new hire is really important. And that's a part of really what we do here in the rescue product um, on top of all of the other great things that we've already talked about. I'm happy to, uh, to go into that in more detail if there's more time. Um, but as you see here, um, pretty, pretty great looking product and very, very functional. So with that, I think, I think I'm gonna pass it back to Janae. Uh, who is going to uh, talk about some of the ways to uh, make money with the Log Me In products. So uh, you, today I will make you the presenter and send it back. Awesome. Great presentation. Thank you for going over that. Um, My pleasure. <laughs> so, um, and Janae, don't, don't, rush, don't rush too much today. We will stay a little yeah. longer, everyone. Uh, we're kind of like three minutes towards where we said the end of this would be, but they usually do go five, 10 minutes uh, longer. So uh, yeah. if you have to drop, that's fine. It's recorded, you'll be able to get it. There's a lot of great handouts at the end. 
uh, that you can download as you're leaving uh, the GoToMeeting, GoToWebinar piece here. Uh, but I, you know, I want to give Janae time to really get you an understanding of the actual business model because, you know, LogMe and we've been working with them for quite some time with the GoToMeeting products. They're a great company to partner with. So uh, go ahead, Janae. Thanks, Clinton. Um, so just to kind of wrap up what Kyle went over, lots of information. Uh, we call him the remote support godfather. He just He just knows the ins and outs. So if you have the opportunity and you identify someone that would be a good fit for this, we're very collaborative and we want you to, as the partner to be a part of that sales cycle. And then you get to be a part of the demos and really see how we sell it. So being able to listen to Kyle as he goes through that and talks through how it works and the value to the customer, you're going to learn a lot more and you're going to learn how to talk uh, towards that product more so you benefit from that so um, but on this slide how does pricing work I know Kyle mentioned some of this but we don't like to focus uh, on the pricing per se we want to focus on the value so we don't really want to go over pricing with you because based on the customer uh, the lead that you submit what they might have now the size of deployment that they're looking at uh, we have a lot of different opportunities to custom build that pricing especially if it's partner initiated so don't focus on price focus on the value download those handouts that we mentioned because there's some great questions on there if you have someone that's interested in remote support ask a few of those questions uh, qualify the need and then we'll have you register the lead over to us so that we can get a specialist like Kyle and the salesperson involved to uh, co-sell with you uh, and as mentioned in the beginning log me in what is that uh, yes it used to be a product so the brand awareness um, doesn't really hold up to the actual products that we offer um, now we're really marketing towards go to meeting by log me in to bring that together but you most of your clients are probably familiar with a lot of the products that we offer we have over 16 and again we really feel that that provides a compelling story to you as the partner because you may have a client that's interested in rescue assist will help sell that and get the customer set up, but then you have more to talk about with your customer. How are they managing passwords? How are they collaborating, collaborating together? How are they marketing uh, their business? So the list goes on and on and on, and the potential for you to make more money as, as a lifelong customer with your client is higher value there. Um, so over 16 products, go to meeting, very popular. Bold360 is a chatbot, uh, artificial intelligence, LastPass, uh, we're always winning with that product because it pairs so well with all of our other products to um, not only help the user save their passwords and not have to remember different passwords, but also on the organizational level to manage that and make sure the company is secure. So how do you make money with LogMeIn? Um, SaskMax and LogMeIn have partnered together to um, help you set up yourself help you set up your um, interface and be able to market our products to your clients and then make money for recommending them. Um, basically, we would have you register with SaskMax as a partner um, for LogMeIn, and then we'll do all of the background to get you set up. We provide you with a custom registration link that you would use to register your leads over to us. Once you register that lead, it comes into our system and we assign a salesperson and a product specialist to that, who will then reach out to you to further qualify the deal, get all of the details from you, and then get some calls set up so that they can uh, co-sell with you with the customer, provide demos. And then we do all of the pricing proposals and, and all of that for you. So really, you just need to know enough to be dangerous to identify that potential opportunity, get us involved, and then we do all of the heavy lifting because we talk about our products all day long and know how to sell them. But we have three partner tiers. So when you start as a partner, you're basically a silver earning 20% of anything that you initiate with us. And then as you get into that qualifying quota of 15K, you move up to a gold for 25% new commission. And then you also get 10% on the renewal. So as long as the customer is renewing every year with us, you get that residual. So it's ongoing money for you and um, benefits for you to continue recommending our products and then you get that money coming in every year as they renew. And then platinum is 50,000 with a 30% referral reward and then 20% on the renewal. I can tell you most of our partners are gold or platinum because that 15 and 50K, that could be one deal, that could be two deals, um, it could take a few, but it's really easy to get into those levels and 
get the benefits of that renewal. So that's the motivation there. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it up to Janae. So we have, uh, we've done several, a lot of work with LogMeIn and a couple of webinars. We have another one coming up with them in LastPass. But when you look at uh, their average deal sizes, I mean, you can really get here pretty quickly. It's not that difficult to qualify. Uh, just as long as you're out doing a little bit of sales, you can make some money. Yep, good point. Um, our just our partner average deal size for partner related opportunities is about six or seven K. Uh, we last month we did almost a million dollars in just partner led sales. We also have a direct sales team. So we're really growing. We're going global. Um, so partners are really a focus for us this year with all of our business units. Uh, let me go back. So with that, I will hand it off to Clint so he can kind of close us out, answer any questions that you guys have that you want to pop in and talk about upcoming events. Great. Thank you very much. Um, so any questions, please put them in. We'll try and answer those uh, uh, questions. And are we still going to work from your slide deck? We want to go back to mine. I'm fine with your working I here. will. I will <laughs> make you presenter just so you have that. No. And I'm still at the beginning of the slide deck. So we're going to jump right on through here uh, and go back up one more. So um, we do have some other uh, webinars coming up, uh, another one on June 15th with Log Me In. Uh, so it's going to be another great one on covering Central and LastPass, uh, all under identity and, and access management pieces. So mark it on your calendars. And we have a great product uh, in, in contract management and, and pieces called ELO. Uh, it's coming up on the 12th, so you're going to want to register for that one as well. It's a, it's a really good product. Um, getting started with us and getting started with LogMeIn, it's, it's very, very simple. Uh, you can reach out to me. We'll be reaching out to you after this. Some of you that are on here, uh, like Don and a couple others that I've seen on here, uh, you're already partners with SASMAC. So in essence, all you have to do is, is talk to one of your, your channel mm -hmm. strategists or your uh, channel su success manager and they can get you signed up with log me in log me in will get you approved everything and then they'll start working with you to get you onboarded and moving so you really have access to this great suite of products of log in uh, through us very easily uh, and then of course you can put them on your digital storefront start marketing them selling them uh, and getting them out to market so that was very simple and we're over time so i am gonna i am go ahead and, and close it down right now you'll be receiving a recording of this and it'll be on our blog uh, Janae, uh, once again, thank you so much. Uh, your team's been, been fantastic to work with, and we really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having us. I'll just um, put in a note that we did a, a, a UCC and collaboration suite webinar a couple weeks ago, so that should, recording should be on your blog as well. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys want to learn more about our go-to side of the products, go to meeting, go to webinar, and open voice. So um, that's an opportunity, and then we hope we see you at the Central and LastPass one in a few weeks. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for bye. stopping by. All right. Bye-bye.